Hello everyone, we're here with Mike from BlackBerry today. Mike, how are you doing? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm doing good too, thanks Excellent. for asking. Uh, now you've got the App World already launched and you've got Playbook already launched in the region. What's the response for it? Very exciting. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think if I start with the App World, uh, we roll that uh, for the majority of the Middle Eastern countries. So if I start with the uh, UE, so in UE we rolled out this out in May and uh, we've been excited and a lot of uh, positive feedback, uh, a lot of the customers enjoying, a lot of downloads. So if you really think about uh, from a global perspective, so we have about close to 30,000 applications. Uh, we just had a, a key milestone by the 1 billion uh, downloads uh, across uh, you know, the world for, for, uh, for REM. Then if we think about daily basis, there's about, about 3 million downloads. So uh, to sort this down to Middle East, so we've been having actually a lot of customers been tapping into this and downloading and interested in, in many type of applications, uh, be it it's uh, social networking, entertainment, uh, utilities, uh, business oriented type of applications. Uh, so it's been an exciting time for us with the, with the app world. So we rolled it out in the UAE, Bahrain, Kuwait, Qatar, uh, and some of the other countries. And, and currently we actually trial in this in KSA. Uh, so, Hopefully soon will be will be public launch as well. Is Oman on the list? Because I was traveling to Oman just last week and there wasn't any app. Yeah, it. we have linked Oman with the same thing as KSA, so we're still doing the trial there. And it's, it's in, uh, you know, I mean, when we when we uh, launch this uh, the app world, we, we need to make sure that uh, you know we adhere to the uh, any local uh, requirements as well to ensure we do our due diligence, to ensure do the testing, mm -hmm. and to ensure the quality at the end of the day delivered with the right uh, expectations for customers there, basically. It's been a short while, but do you have any stats on what kind of apps are more popular amongst users in the region? You know, like I said, I mean, really, uh, we, we found out a lot of the social networking apps have been popular, like the BlackBerry Messenger, the uh, Twitter, Facebook, and this type of applications. Uh, some of the communication apps as well have been popular there. So, uh, you know, I mean, customers have been exploring and uh, in many different aspects, but these kind of the top applications people are interested in. Okay. What about the Playbook? Can you tell us a little bit about the Playbook? How has it been received in the region? Very good. Uh, I think given that it's uh, the, uh, the Playbook, uh, it's unique in its offering. So it's not only a tablet, it's a tablet from BlackBerry to ensure that we deliver the total solution offering from there. Given that really the Playbook, it's uh, provide the uncompromised browsing uh, with the Adobe Flash support, as well, it has a true multitasking aspects of that. To where, uh, you know, you are a user of Playbook, so you know how it's like. So uh, the multitasking really, you are able to open as many applications. So you bridge to your uh, BlackBerry, so you can actually bridge seeing your email, your BBM. Uh, you can see actually bridge files. You can, the, the attachments on your BlackBerry in the email. So you can open them as well on the, the Playbook. Uh, you are able to see the contacts, etc. So this is an exciting aspect of that. So if you look really at the uh, special features, special uncompromised offering in the playbook, so this has been perceived very well in the market there. So this is just the start, and as well in terms of uh, go back to the application. So we're developing specific applications as well for the playbook to adhere to the uh, Middle East requirements, be it it's, uh, whether it's cultural or, or religion, Islamic applications, to serve the needs of customers as well, as well getting close to the month of Ramadan. So we as well excited about you know providing the local customers with these type of applications to help them for the month of Ramadan, even beyond that, in addition to some, uh, to serve actually all needs, uh, not just Islamic applications in terms of entertainment. One of the key applications are like really some recipes, food recipes there kind of uh, serve so uh, you know the Middle Eastern food has been popular mm -hmm. among the uh, different people here whether it's expat or local so give an, uh, you know this uh, type of exciting application for people to actually be able to enjoy it during the month of Ramadan as well. You mentioned the bridge capabilities of the playbook yes. and yes I know it works quite well but what about for people that don't have a BlackBerry yet and who want to access their emails or calendar when can we expect uh, yeah. apps for native apps? So, so let's let's uh, talk about the playbook so the playbook it's uh, first of all it supports all the needs of all customers not necessarily only the BlackBerry customers there so basically uh, with the five Wi-Fi connection people are able to access their web browsing access their web-based email uh, they are able to run multimedia they're able to access the the web uh, and then be able to access any flash type of application whether it's media gaming etc so they have the full functionality 
uh, without having the bridge. So the bridge really comes to complement and taking care of our existing a huge base of BlackBerry smartphone users in the marketplace. So we are uh, giving them this extra edge there to be able to utilize it. So complement to, to their commitment and ensuring that we provide them uh, their needs. So that they are able to view their email, their BBM, the bigger screen. Uh, further to that, which is a very key feature, you are able to bridge the browsing from your smartphone. So whether you have Wi-Fi or not, you're still able to access the web. So this is an exciting, you know, the bridge is an, an, an extra feature. It's actually a feature that nobody has in the marketplace from any tablet provider. From a competitive perspective, this is a, a, an edge for us. And, and looking at the uh, BlackBerry smartphone users in the marketplace, so uh, it's, it's been a huge for us this, with this feature. A lot of good positive feedback on that. Okay. And can we expect a native client soon on the, on the BlackBerry? Definitely, like we announced, we are bringing a native uh, email client to, to come around sometime this year. So you've also got the 9900 sitting with you. Could you yes, show us I do. Uh, I've been excited about the 900, and I know you're excited about it. And I'm sure you can't excited. wait to, to get your hand on one of these. Absolutely. So it's operate. been really an exciting. It's uh, really have a state of the art in terms of uh, the keyboard. The keyboard usability, it kind of resembles the, the true DNA for the party keyboard there. So give you actually the the best of two worlds. Like I said, the QWERTY and the touch screen there. Not to forget the trackpad is still there to kind of maneuver between of them. It's a very iconic design. Uh, the tennis device we ever introduced in a half millimeter there. From a speed perspective, it's comparable in that regard. So from from a look and feel, it's great. Uh, we talk about the browsing experience as well. The fastest we ever introduced. This is going to come with the BlackBerry Seven the next generation of our operating system, building on the success of BlackBerry 6. So if we're talking about browsing experience, this is 35% faster than what we have introduced so far. So for example, we have done some benchmarking in the market. So in terms of the page loading, it's the fastest among the competitive product in the market, or even among what we have introduced as well. So from a performance perspective, uh, from the features, so we have empowered with near-field communication, it has as well the uh, digital compass to support the augmented reality, to take advantage of that as well. So it has the high definition video to where support the three modes. You'll be able to send the videos, uh, either view it on the big screen, or you're able to send it uh, via the web, or even package it via MMS. So you'll get the same equality of that regard there. So uh, we, we're excited about this with all the uh, state-of-the-art innovation, uh, creativity, from uh, uh, the look and feel and the functionality of this device. It has the big keyboard as well to give you this ease of use there. The keyboard itself as well, the usability of it, is really very comfortable in the hands there. It fits with it on the hand as well with usability, one hand operation as well. I've noticed that the keyboard has Arabic on it as well. So yes. Does that mean it's going to be a global launch for the 9900? Because normally you have US launches and then a couple of months later you get devices tricked into the different Definitely. parts of the world. Definitely. This market in the Middle East, it's a key market. It's a key region for this product. Excitement. We were all this uh, part of the global launch as well in this market. Uh, we'll support both English and Arabic. As we always committed within the Middle East market to support the Arabic, to reach uh, the, the customers that are interested in the Arabic language, and as well serve uh, you know the expats and uh, people interested in English. Like, can we get a rough idea on when this device will be available for end users to purchase? So currently, we're looking about the August time frame uh, to uh, exciting to bring it during the month of Ramadan, uh, as uh, people would uh, be enjoying it. Uh, for, for the Eid holidays or for the after school activities or for the people actually can they are waiting to make a decision since we've announced that people have really held their purchase decision to waiting for the 9900 to come to market to, to acquire. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Pleasure Thanks. talking to you.